Hello guys, this is your friend, the great Robbie Stone, back again with another awesome video. Now, guys, I, today I'm going to touch upon a subject we, uh, or a situation which we all have come across at least once in a while, which is accidentally losing our data. Now, this could be a case of an accidental press or a habitual press of shift and delete from a folder uh, and from a drive and losing all your data because it's not going to go in the right cycle bin or an SD call from your camera where you've just come back from a holiday and got some great memories of your holiday got corrupted or a case of hard drive going bad, which has a lot of your work files and you've lost them all and you're now worried how, how is, it's going to, your business is going to suffer or how your superiors are going to react to this and how, how difficult is the situation going to be. Now, the, these situations, we panic. We, we, we get frustrated because there's a, there's, there's a lot of information which is there and you really don't want to be in that situation. But before I deep dive into, uh, helping you, Talk about the solution that I found, which is going to help you fix the issue and recover your data, whether it's files and pictures, videos. Uh, uh, kind of please request you to press the subscribe button and the notification icon so that you keep getting all the notifications and I keep getting all the motivations to keep bringing these amazing videos to you. So guys, the solution uh, to recover the lost data is Wondershare Recovery version 12. Now this is the latest version of the Wondershare Recovery series and it comes with a lot of updates and upgrades to ensure that the maximum amount of data is recovered by just one click of the button. And the new version also packs in a feature where in case the files are corrupted because of the bad drive they were stored in or during the recovery process, it has a feature of helping you repair that file as well, uh, whether it's corrupted videos or photos or other files that you that you're not able to open after recovery, which is fantastic. Now, all this and imagine if you don't believe me, just click on the just, there's a link down below. Just click on the button and download a trial version, absolutely free of cost, and try it out. With the free version, you get 100 MB of option, so you can test it out with 100 MB of data if you like it. You can just take the subscription for uh, for one month, six months, or for the whole year, uh, and, and it's, it's, it's just amazing. It's just a giveaway campaign. All you need to do is there's another link, or uh, win, win link below. Uh, all you have to do is just click on the link and just select one of the pictures uh, of your choice, which they ask you as a question, leave your email address, and you get into the draw to win that drive. Now, Getting straight on to business. How do we recover our data? So let's start with it. So a few easy steps. First, go on to recovery.oneshare.com, create an account for yourself and purchase the subscription if of your choice and download the latest version of Wondershare Recovery version 12. As easy as that. Now, download and install the version. The moment you open uh, it, all on the top right, you will see the login button on the software itself. Uh, login using the same credential and the subscription information is automatically seen by the, the, by the app and you are good to go. Uh, but before I start showing you the whole detailed recovery process, I want to talk about some of the advanced features of this latest version, uh, which is version 12 of the Wondershare Recovery. Now, first, it can it help, it supports recovery from over two thousand devices and over one thousand plus uh, file types and over five hundred plus different kind of real life data loss scenarios. Whether it's exit formatting, deleting corrupt devices, system crashes, virus attacks, etc. And they have a great have seen a great success rate around. And we're going to put that some of that to test in a while. It also has enhanced video and uh, photo recovery, enabling the recovery and not just recovery, but also repairing the corrupt files just in case they're corrupt in the process, whether it's ultra HD file, 4K file or an 8K file. And these can be done from and all the major camera brands across the globe. Uh, you can also recover it from NAS and Linus systems. It also, the latest version also enables you to recover data from surveillance and dash cams of all major brands as well. Uh, so th this is great and it is optimized for raw file scanning and the new version sports even larger disk sizes that you can scan and recover data 
from. And my favorite part that you can actually, you don't have to recover the whole drive. You can look at the data in the real time and recover it in uh, the data that you choose to recover. So if it is fantastic. Now, we're going to straight away move on to the first case scenario of recovering the data. In the first case scenario, basically on my system, you will see this data drive. Uh, and as I open the drive, you will see some image files uh, in, which are all in 4K and some video files, which is again in 4K, uh, which are there. I'm gonna select all, press shift and delete. And I don't even see anything in the recycle bin, just quickly to show you. And our files are deleted from the system. Now, I'm panicked, I wanna recover this, but not anymore. I'm, my panic is not gonna be there anymore. So. I just simply open the OneShare app. I've already logged in from the top right uh, button as I showed you earlier, and I'm seeing all the drives listed on my dashboard, and I simply click on the data drive which from which I've lost the data, and I click it. It starts scanning the drive. It starts listing out files as it recovers. It doesn't wait for the scanning to finish in real time. And the moment I see the files that I've lost, all I have to do is simply select those files. I don't have to, I don't have to recover the whole lot of it. I simply select the files I choose to recover. I don't have to even wait for the whole scanning to finish. It can continue scanning in the background. I press recover and a pop-up comes in, which asks me to select the, uh, uh, the destination for the files to be stored. It can, they cannot be stored in the drive where we're recovering from. So we select an alternate drive and press recover and Voila, it starts recovering those selected files right away. And now let's go to that folder. It immediately opens a pop-up showing me the explorer of all that my files have been recovered. I open them and here they are, all my files. Now let's check the quality of the videos and, uh, and the images. And images look fantastic. They are as crystal clear as I had uh, stored them. And and the video quality is also absolutely brilliant. It's still maintaining 4K and the crystal clarity that I was looking for for my upcoming video. And the audio quality is fantastic as well. So great, it has done the job well. Really now look, let's look at one more case scenario. Now let's go back to my Explorer and you will see this external hard drive called Apple and I'll click open and show you. Again, I've got a few uh, images and few videos that I've shot from my phone uh, I've, and, and they are sitting in there and I'm gonna just simply format this. In the Explorer, I select the drive, right click, format, quick format, voila, my drive is clean. I've done this by accident, I realize I still needed that data, I've not created a backup of it. So again, I just simply go on to OneShare app, I can see the Apple drive there, I click on it and it starts scanning the data. Now, in this case scenario, you will see another directory appearing on the left side of the dash, left side menu, which says the lost files. Now, in case of formatting, the disk is clean, but those sec some sectors are dedicated for lost files. And this is where, as I open it, you will see different file formats. So in my case, I know that either it's gonna be JPEG files or MP4 uh, files uh, in, in case, I mean, because I shot them from phone. So I just simply go open the directory, select the files, or from different files from different directories because they're images and video. So they're in different directories. I select them and recover again. I don't have to wait for the whole thing to finish scanning. I can recover it in real time. So click, recover, select the destination. Voila, it has done the job. Let's open and check on the files and see the quality of these as well. Images look fantastic and the video looks amazing as well. And so is the sound quality. So guys, this is fantastic. If you have any questions regarding the software or the recovery process, or if you're facing any challenges, please do leave us a comment and we'll have the Wondershare team uh, answer for uh, answer the questions for you or I'll help them, answer, I'll help you answer them with the best of my knowledge. In the meantime, this is your friend, the Great Lobby signing off. Keep yourself safe and keep your data safe. If you, and in case you don't, you still have recovered uh, version 12 from Wondershare. Peace.